talk? Cool. All right, uh, we are back. New shot, new angle. We're gonna uh, move the seat forward. Six years later? Okay, cool. Good. Um, keep talking. I'm awkward right now, but uh, just to show you guys the uh, video, but... A fly mic's always awkward. Yeah. Um, and just keep uh, talking nicely. And here you got a little little lip guy, but uh, just make sure to tuck it up there. Uh, keep going with this guy here. Now we get to the seat. What you guys probably like thinking? Oh my. Okay, uh, now we got to the seat after all your tucking. Um, seat is very complicated to take off. That's it. <laughs> so just pull up, tuck it away nice and neat. Make sure, you know, they had those those little metal clips in there. Just keep pulling up. You don't have to go ridiculous. I mean, right now, just, just for showing you guys, I'm going to pop the whole seat out. Oh, actually, hold on. Before he pops that whole seat out, this is really all you got to do in the install. All you really got to do is just lift that up that high, but Mike's going to show you how the whole seat pops out, just to make life easier for the video. There you go. And... Oh man, it's so dirty back here. Okay. Found the screwdriver. And I found a screwdriver. Sick. Okay. <laughs> um, keep going. With this guy, if you want to get crazy and stuff, well, not crazy, but that's actually a good way of installing would be to zip tie it to some of the looms that you have it already in here. And even you can even use this guy to guide it up. But for video purposes, hold on. All right. Um, after you're done running up here with all the tucking and and everything, uh, fold the seat down. You'll notice you've got some uh, decent. Use some out of clearance over here. I got skinny hands, so it's easy for me. But what you can do is just tuck up underneath there. Oh, careful of the hinges. Don't want to cut this cable after all that running um, and tucking. And uh, let's go through here. I'm going to have to take out my whole panel. Don't mind the amp wire. I tuck it out like six times. So, all right. What you're gonna do is keep tucking underneath here. Not too complicated. Don't have to go that nuts. We got this now. My little trick. I already pulled it out over here for you guys, but all you gotta do is you see how this thing just kind of snaps in. Use a panel popper or something just to pop it out when you first do it. But just pop it out. Reach in and what? Right there. Pull it up. So now you got it out of the way here. Who carries an ECU in a truck? Oh, that's a, that's a Digi, that's a Digi-1 ECU. Come on, the Mark II guys would know about that. Okay, um, Digi-2, I forgot actually. Um, you got these little flat heads. Um, actually, the easiest way to do it. Is go for the middle, the like Christian's gonna show? Yeah, there we go. Pop it right in the middle, it comes, oh, it's, I don't even show you that. Did slides I? right out. Hold on, let me rewind and see if I still caught that. All right, we're back, cause the, uh, I was moving around and catch that, but this is how you take it out. Battle popper in the middle, deceiving. <laughs> Don't really work. Oh, there we go. Trickery. Okay, got that. You don't have to disconnect the whole thing. They got. He ran it with nice, a decent amount of slack. At least in my car. Hopefully, and everybody else's too. Um, now you're gonna pull this up, and reach in. I mean, if you want to go nuts, you could use a snake or something. Or, you know, if I have small hands, like, let me just pull that through. There's like one small little, like, opening on the bottom of the, of the uh, panel. You could just kind of feed it through. If you have big mitts, you can actually uh, take off the screws from uh, the two uh, anchors right there. I so I can get that one. Whatever. Those yeah. two. And that gives you more room, but usually that's not the case. I got pretty yeah. big hands that I can manage. All right. Now, what you're going to do is uh, start by taking out. You have two 8-pin connectors. One with two rows of four, one with a straight row of eight. 
you need to take out this one. And she's gonna slide out like that. Um, I'm gonna need a pick tool for this, but let, um, let's go get it. Let me grab one. Hold on. All right. This is this is why uh, people learn off each other. I just told I just taught Mike a better way of how to get that out. And he just taught me a better way to uh, get this this these pins in. Oh, owned, owned. All right. <laughs> Got plenty of emails and calls about how to do this. This is the clincher right here. Very complicated yet again. You see this L, little L-shaped piece? That's how it's designed. It slides on the connector. It doesn't pop off. None of this nonsense. What you're gonna do is where right where the square is. Not there. Where the square is, you're gonna use a flathead screwdriver, lift, slip it up. Oh, look at that! Slides right off, I nice usually, and easy. I usually beat on that thing like a savage. Yeah, you, no. can see, you can see my video how to do it. See how I do. Precision. <laughs> <laughs> um, notice three empty pins on this guy. Three pins on our sat pass. Okay, now we just slid off the cover. Um, you've got your three wires: black, red, and white. Starting with red, pin three. You'll notice. Kind of, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the camera, but there's going to be a little number one, number one, number eight. That's how we orient it. So one, two, three, empty pin, three, goes to red. Notice clip stays up. Clip stays towards you. Towards you so that the clip's facing up these little holes. Locks in. Red, white, goes to four. Clips in. And black to the final eight clips in. Now, slide it back in. You're gonna see, just gotta ma match it into this channel that locks all those pins in. Slide it, snap, there you go. And oh my goodness, you just bypassed, or retained your satellite with your iPod kit and an Audi. Something that was said to be impossible. Now, <coughs> now what you're gonna do is uh, zip tie the slack, the rest of it, to this harness. Wherever you please, just uh, get it out of the way so it's a nice and clean install. And uh, congratulations, just installed the Sat Pass 2 in your A4, also Sat Pass 1. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, you guys have a great one.